Hey everybody, Nick here, and today a quick little video showing you how to take a link out or add a link to a uh, Grand Seiko with the double screw down bracelet here, like this little guy, the SBGE001. Um, spectacular watch, but the bracelet mechanism is honestly a little bit silly. What you're going to need is a very small flathead sort of driver, uh, as well as a uh, little punch potentially to get the, uh, the little bar out there. So we'll start off by just unscrewing one of these little screws here. These are little screws, absolutely 100%. And they're also flatheads, so you got to be careful that you don't slip your tool off and scrape up the side of the link here. So I'm just using this little tool to unscrew that, and then past the point, I usually try and switch to my finger in order to avoid that scratching potential. There we go. Come on. Oh, don't do me like this. There we go. So that's popped out. You can see how freaking tiny this little screw is. It's absolutely absurd. Then, unfortunately, um, because you just there's just a little screw here, uh, you need to go to the other side and undo that screw as well. And that's kind of the unusual thing. Most of your um, screw down links on watches, drop that screw out of there, have a bar that goes all the way through that's got screwing and, you know, a bolt on one end. Then you use your little punch and you actually press all the way through here and you can remove then this little bar that lives inside. It's a bit of a pain to grab at. I'm just going to use a uh, little pair of pliers as a grabber here. Ah. This could probably be avoided if you had a longer push-through tool, but I don't happen to, so I'm just going to use this. A pair of tweezers would be just as good, probably better. But anyways, now that you've removed this little bar, which sits in the middle there and uh, does that, you can actually loosen this. And then it's just a question of putting that, screwing that back in together on either side, and you can replace the link or add a new one, etc. So um, that's, that's how you do that. You just need to unscrew both sides and then push this little bar thing out through the inside there. And then when it's time for reassembly, you just reverse the process. You push the little bar thing into there, being careful that you actually get it through both sides. Oh, come on now. There we go. And then... Just screw these little guys back in. So there you go. I hope this has been interesting and helpful. Um, Seiko, please, please do better than this in future Grand Seikos. Um, but everybody else, have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.